Xander actually had to get a driver in play that normally is a process that takes up to two months. He had two days to find the proper driver that included the proper head weighting and the proper shaft. But he did go out and perform well over the last two days. He is upset the fact that he wasn't the only one that was found with a non-conforming driver. He says up to four players were found with non-conforming drivers. And if there's four players out of 30 that were tested, then statistically he feels like with 156 in the field, there are far more players out there competing in the open with non-conforming drivers. Today, after his round, he talked about that and also addressed about the news getting out from the RNA that he has been singled out as one of those with a non-conforming driver. I don't sit at home and test my driver. You know, to, to my best belief, I, I was playing a conforming driver. Um, I think the RNA's job is to, to, the PJ Tour takes up with the manufacturer. You know, our job as players is to show up to tournaments, put on a show for the RNA and for the tour and, and, and to handle our business. You know, it's not to make sure our stuff is conforming. So. I think, yes, to make it fair, they should test everybody. You know, other drivers failed. Um, I'll just say, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure a PXG driver failed and a TaylorMade driver failed and a Callaway driver failed. You know, I, this matter should be private, but, you know, the RNA didn't do their job in, in keeping it private, so I don't feel like I should, you know, I, I, don't, I can tell you right now what happened or for what I know. Um, yeah, it's a very, it is an unsettling topic. You know, I've been called a cheater by, by my uh, fellow opponents. Um, and, you know, people are, it, it's all joking, but when someone yells, you know, cheater in front of like 200 people, to me, it's not, it's not going to go down very well. Did you hear that? What, sorry? Did you hear that? Oh, no, I heard it, yeah. No, it, it, was, it was a player out here. And I'm cool with him as well. You know, he oh, thought it was funny. Joking. For sure, but that's just not something you joke about. Oh, you know, and then someone else is like, you know, I'm chipping around. Someone's like, oh, there's wedges illegal now. So, um, the RNA, you know, they've pissed me off because they've sort of ruined, tried or attempted to ruin my image by not keeping this matter private. So this is me, you know, coming out and, and treating them the exact way they treated me. Sorry. Now, the RNA does not give out publicly the name names rather of the players that have been tested, nor the names of those that have been found to be using non-conforming drivers. A spokesperson for the RNA said this, quote, we always listen to feedback from players and have done so in this situation. We will continue to treat this as a private and confidential matter. I reached out to Xander about 45 minutes ago and I asked him, does he feel like the RNA intentionally put his name out as one of those having a non-conforming driver? He said, no, I honestly don't believe that they would do something like that, wouldn't benefit them in any way. Fact is that they did leak the info out. Now I'm putting a position, put in a position rather to defend myself.